In this province is called KwaZulu Natal, and this is where the Zulu tribe is predominant. We heard there was uh, thing, uh, places here where you could go, and there's you know they sell all kinds of weird shit, say it has weird powers. You've got you've got like a, a, a traditional witch doctors are called sangomas. And they've, they've got muti shops. Muti is basically medicine, but all the muti is like leaves or herbs or like cow dung or or, or people parts. <laughs> you don't treat people when you come. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Huh? This is not tourist. No one even acknowledges us. It's rad. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, for example, the Sangoma will tell someone who's got a problem with the enemy, take the um, bone out of the arm of one of your sip of one of your children and make a weapon and point that weapon in his direction, and then the spirits will get him. How about something to, uh, if I eat it, it helps me, um, like, focus, concentrate if I have to study something. Do you have something like that? You know, it's kind of like helps my mind be sharp. What is this in here? One. Hashi. Hashi? What's it do? What's it for? Does it do something? What does it do? This one. This one, what? If we, we have that one, we put it in your car. Put it in when your you're car? Going, never, never the traffic can stop you. Something like a skedel, maybe thieves. The, the people believe it, the Sagomas and the, the traditions, they believe in it very, very much. They take it seriously. But they talk about stuff like that you can get a stuffed snake skin that you put around your waist and then you can go into your neighbor's tent and give his wife one without him waking up. Or they'll say like the thieves get like bands made that they have around their arms and when they walk someone um, next to someone who's got a, a wallet full of money that's just been paid, then the band, band will give them a click so they know who to rob, you know? Like it's like that type of stuff that they make. So it's crazy for us, but the people believe it. I wonder what that is. Well, like if you'll take like a certain monkey skull, like a baboon skull, some sort of vervet monkey and if you put that on your gate that'll protect you as well and if the the, the, the tortoises which is the tortoises are the thieves, the thieves the sky, they won't the come into your house if you've got a baboon skull on your gate it's quite creepy though i mean look it's like a really disgusting <laughs> looking thing <laughs> it's probably the hoof of some yeah. animal. Yeah. There's a collection of little hands there. <laughs> they look like baboon hands. When it comes to witch doctors, one thing which also happens is that is that people get killed and about bits and pieces used as medicine or some kind of like a charm. So like there are what they call muti killings. Where, where some kid will get killed and then like the balls get used for, for some kind of a ritual or you, know, you have to eat this or that. But, it, but it, it's quite rare, it's, it's only on occasion, it's not, it's not, it's not actually a common thing really. But it's like we're in Africa now, the cost of life is much less than the States, you know? Like a lot, of, like if someone dies in the States it means a lot more than someone dying in Africa, it's just like how the world works. Yeah, it's, it's like we live in a country where the, the vice president and was involved in some case where he was accused of rape and then it came out now is he actually HIV positive or not it came out in the trial it was unprotected sex but he said he took a shower afterwards you know it's like for the right, HIV yeah, thing and he's, he's the vice president of the country that's fucking now, insane he might might be our next president no he's, he has massive support he has huge massive support, support. So, so he's dumber than Bush yeah. He's going so to get the two of them together and fucking make it have a real hoedown, huh? Uh, and then, like, the, the Minister of, of Health, she said in a public, like, public announcement, the people of South Africa must just eat more celery, beetroot, and um, garlic to solve the AIDS and HIV thing. Holy fuck. That's the health minister. Garlic, beetroot, and celery. Yeah. They gave away thousands and thousands of condoms for the yeah. AIDS awareness thing. 
but they stapled the condoms to the flyer showing you how to put it on. Straight so they all had holes in them. Right through the middle oh, of the condom. That's, that's fucking rad! <laughs> <laughs> it's You're so stupid. <laughs>